for for the uh, uh, people who asked questions in written, if they would like to go to the microphone and repeat their question, that probably will be more uniform. So I would ask you, please, if you written a question for me, try to go there, and we'll take all the questions from the floor. It will make it more uniform. Uh, than trying to distribute because we have two speakers and three minutes and two minutes and different kind of question. We'll just get it from the floor and uh, Dr. Shirouz. This is uh, just a simple request to read what is in Ezekiel 18, 4, which says, Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the Father as well as the soul of the Son is mine. The soul who sins shall die. They wanted me to read the entire verse. That's all. Thank you. This was a written uh, question, and we will take the questions from the floor. My question is uh, to Dr. Shalouj. My question is not to prove to me linguistically the mistakes in the Quran, because it was elaborated by, by Dr. Jamal Badawi. But my simple challenge to Dr. Shalouj is to read for me one page from the Quran without making a mistake. Surat at Talaq. It's simple surah. Why don't you read it for us since you brag that you know Arabic so well? I've never made myself a scholar in Arabic. How come? I'm, I'm a student. Listen, I'm a student of the Quran. See, he has confessed himself he is not a scholar of the Arabic language. There is no living human being who can say to you he knows Arabic so as to be the complete reference and dictionary of the Arabic language. Isn't that correct? Do you know of any but, living but there, creature today? But there today? are small children whose mm -hmm. original language is not Arabic who can recite Quran oh. accurately from page to page, from end to beginning to end. Yeah, oh. yeah. We call them. We small call them Hafiz. We call them Hafiz. Hafiz. But, but they know how okay. to read what is in front of them correctly. Hafiz is a different thing. Doctor Sharuz, with all my respect, because you are able to find mistakes in the Quran, it's more easier to read for me. Just to read in simple okay. Arabic language. All right. Surat Talaq, if you don't mind. Why not? And only two verses from four to six. <laughs> right. What is the number? You can't find it. You can't find it, but you remember the number of the surah. I have to just to make it quite fast. I think it's 40. No, it's not 40. It's 50. Yeah, it's right. Good. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا يا ايها النبي اذا طلقتم النساء فطلقونهن فطلقونهن فطلقوهن فطلقوهن لعدتهن واحصوا العده واحصوا العده على الايات والذكر وفي فيض هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم سليما كثيرا وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله for another opportunity to meet it's been one year ما شاء الله May Allah make it a blessed Ramadan, uh, in our best Ramadan and not our last Ramadan. Inshallah, in this few minutes, just a reflection on verse or part of the verse 125 from Surah Al-An'am, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فمن يريد الله أن يهديه يشرح صدره للإسلام the rough translation, so whoever Allah wants to guide, he expands his breast to contain Islam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he give us this. And now we have a measurement that when you feel that state, and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give it to all of us, that we love it, we are proud of it, we are excited about it. And we don't have any hesitation, any resentment toward any single injunction in Islam, whether in the Quran and Sunnah, this is a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is guiding you. And here is an opportunity coming soon in a few days, which is Ramadan. Let's expand our uh, uh, chest that contains more Islam and more Islam. And my brothers and sisters, I will tell you, 
there is no single doubt that this Islam is the best. Don't be ashamed of it. Don't feel that I wish this one is not from Islam. I wish I should know. Because one of the last verses to be revealed where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I believe is the best gift to this ummah where he says Al-yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa radiyatu lakum al-islam deena Al-yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum Today I have perfected your religion wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati and I completed my favor upon you and I am pleased that Islam is your way of life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is happy and he is pleased that Islam is your way of life so please and the way to get this and I will conclude with that inshallah is to learn more about Islam the more you learn the more you love it the more you learn the more you will be excited it's a great may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to have this knowledge that will expand our chest then we can be guided because that's the only dua we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at least 17 times a day. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Guide us to the right path. And this is the sign. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to expand and give us in shirah al-sadr. Ameen. Zakum Allahu khairan. Wa Ramadan mubarak. Wa kullu amin wa antum bi khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.